Imagine a cosmic symphony, a grand performance in which stars, planets, and moons form an intricate orchestra, playing in unison across the vast expanse of the universe. Each celestial object contributes a unique note to this eternal melody, governed by the laws of physics and the mysteries of existence. Yet, among this astronomical harmony, there is a particular section that has long puzzled scientists, an ensemble of objects that seem both familiar and alien, the exoplanets. These are not just planets, they are distant worlds that orbit stars far beyond our solar system, hidden within the immeasurable depths of the Milky Way. Some of these worlds resemble Earth so closely, so tantalizingly, that they have earned the title of potential twins to our own planet. Among them stands one particularly enigmatic and captivating body, Proxima b. Proxima b is not an abstract, far-off mystery. It lies just 4.2 light-years from Earth, orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor. This makes it a prime candidate for deep scientific exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced space observatory ever constructed, has become an indispensable tool in our quest to understand exoplanets like Proxima b. Its revolutionary instruments are designed to peer into the most distant and darkest corners of the universe, capable of analyzing the makeup of alien atmospheres, detecting water, and even searching for signs of life. But before we dive into the telescope's capabilities, let us appreciate the scale of the universe we are dealing with. Imagine for a moment that your thoughts are carried across the sprawling arms of our galaxy, the Milky Way. It's estimated that more than a quadrillion exoplanets may exist in this galactic home of ours. That's a number followed by 15 zeros. To help you grasp this unimaginable scale, consider this. If each of these planets were the size of a single grain of sand, we could not only fill the Grand Canyon, but build an entirely new monument, Grand Canyon 2.0, that stretches several miles high. Within this mind-boggling number, Approximately 20% of these planets are considered Earth-like in terms of geological and atmospheric conditions. That means statistically, one in every five exoplanets might share traits with our planet, similar gravity, atmospheric pressure, and even the potential for water. And that's not the end of the story. Alongside these planets are potentially another quadrillion moons, rocky satellites similar to our moon, each one locked in an eternal gravitational dance with its planetary host. These moons might also harbor life or possess subsurface oceans, just like the icy world of Europa in our own solar system. The cosmos, it seems, is not just generous in scale, it's generous in opportunity. For every star, there is a chance. For every planet, a possibility. And for every possibility, a question, could life exist elsewhere? Now that we've painted the canvas of cosmic abundance, it's time to focus on the artist rendering it all in exquisite detail, the James Webb Space Telescope. Often referred to as a celestial detective, this telescope is far more than a simple instrument of observation. With a mirror spanning 6.5 meters in diameter, 2.7 times larger than the Hubble Space Telescopes, it has the power to collect faint light from galaxies and stars billions of light years away. Equipped with state-of-the-art infrared sensors and spectrometers, Webb can do more than just look, it can decode the very essence of distant worlds. These instruments allow scientists to analyze the light passing through a planet's atmosphere, helping them identify gases like water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and even oxygen, substances critical for life as we know it. In this sense, the James Webb Space Telescope is like a cosmic pathologist, performing remote biopsies on alien planets. It doesn't just observe, it analyzes, filters, and interprets. The telescope reads the light signatures of celestial bodies like a detective studying fingerprints. It's not just a technological advancement over Hubble. It's a quantum leap in our ability to understand the universe. If Hubble gave us a stunning window into space, then Webb has swung open the entire door, turning our gaze back to Proxima b. This planet is not merely interesting because of its proximity. It's what we've learned about it that makes it a scientific sensation. Discovered in 2016, Proxima b orbits its host star at a distance that places it within the so-called habitable zone, the sweet spot where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist. 
Scientists call this region the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. Imagine, if you will, waterfalls cascading down alien cliffs, rivers winding through strange landscapes, lakes reflecting unfamiliar constellations, and oceans as deep and mysterious as Earth's Mariana Trench. This planet, in theory, could support life, or at the very least, the ingredients needed for it. But Proxima B is not without its peculiarities. A single day on this alien world, one full rotation on its axis, lasts approximately 11 Earth days. Imagine a sunrise that takes days to unfold, bathing the terrain in a golden hue for what would feel like an eternity. Midday would come slowly and sunset would stretch for hours, creating a drawn-out twilight unlike anything on Earth. While this may sound serene, the implications for life are profound. Human biological rhythms, our sleep, hunger, and cognitive cycles, are closely tied to the day-night cycle. Would we sleep multiple times in one Proxima day? Would we eat more frequently? Could plants perform photosynthesis effectively under such long daylight exposure? These questions highlight just how alien even Earth-like planets can be. Proxima B is nature's riddle, a familiar shape with unfamiliar rules. It challenges our assumptions about what it means for a planet to be habitable. And yet, even from such a distance, we are able to study this world thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, which acts not just as a watcher, but as a hands-on investigator in the vacuum of space. The Webb Telescope's spectrographs allow scientists to separate and analyze the light emitted or reflected by Proxima B's atmosphere. Each molecule leaves a unique signature in the spectrum, like a barcode. By decoding this data, researchers can determine whether the atmosphere contains essential compounds like water vapor, carbon compounds, or even biosignatures such as oxygen. This isn't science fiction, it's science forensics, the ultimate cosmic CSI. And just when we thought the story couldn't get more thrilling, the plot thickens. Researchers using the telescope picked up an unusual signal from the direction of Proxima b, an electromagnetic anomaly so complex, so finely patterned, that it sent ripples through both academic institutions and social networks. Dubbed a techno-signature, the signal bore characteristics that some argued could indicate intelligent origin. For a brief moment, it seemed humanity was on the verge of an unprecedented revelation, contact. But then, as mysteriously as it had appeared, the signal vanished. It did not repeat. No trace. No echo. Only silence remained. This fleeting transmission ignited a firestorm of speculation. Was it a transient cosmic event? A bizarre fluke? Or was it... Perhaps, a coded message from an advanced civilization? The absence of follow-up evidence only deepened the enigma. The event remains one of the most tantalizing and frustrating mysteries in modern astronomy. A single whisper from the cosmos that leaves us wondering, are we truly alone? Yet the search continues. The latest chapter in this unfolding saga comes not just from space agencies, but from researchers at Harvard who are taking the search for alien civilizations to bold new heights. These scientists are now using the James Webb Space Telescope to look for artificial light sources on distant planets. Imagine gazing upon a distant world and seeing glowing patches, like cities radiating artificial light into the night, luminous pearls set against the canvas of space. If successful, such a discovery would not just suggest life, but civilization. The implications are staggering. By analyzing both the dark and light sides of exoplanets, researchers hope to detect unnatural brightness patterns, signals that could betray the presence of technologically advanced societies. The search has evolved. We are no longer just looking for planets that can support life. We are searching for life that has already reached out into the night, much like we have, illuminating its world with energy and intellect. As the story of Proxima B continues to unfold, one thing becomes clear. This isn't just about finding another Earth. It's about redefining what we know about life, about ourselves, and about the place we call home in the cosmos. The universe is no longer a static backdrop to our existence. It is a living, breathing mystery, full of riddles and revelations. Let us know what you think in the comments. Could Proxima B hold the key to discovering extraterrestrial life?
If you found this journey as exciting as we did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Discovery at 2.0 for more deep dives into the cosmic unknown. The stars are speaking, are we ready to listen?